Hi, congratulations on your new RV. We're really excited for you. Please make sure before you're signing that you bring the following items with you. If you're a cash buyer, please make sure that you bring a cashier's check, no personal checks at time of signing, or you may bring actual cash. If you're a finance customer, please make sure that you bring proof of insurance listing your specific lien holder. If you need that information, please call us ahead of time. Also, make sure that you bring all valid driver's license of all persons that will be listed on the title. If you have a trade that you're trading in with us, please make sure that you bring your 10 day payoff as well as your title and all persons who will be listed on the title of that trade. Um, arrive 30 minutes early before your appointment time so we can properly inspect your unit and also make sure that you have the fridge on and running prior to arrival. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 810-686-0710. Thanks so much. Have a great day. All right, we're gonna be doing a walk around on your Salem by Forest River. We're gonna start in the front here. Got a brand new battery box with a brand new interstate 12 volt battery installed. Get your propane tanks filled up here. These are 30 pound cylinders. This is your regulator. This is an auto changeover regulator for the gas. There's a little indicator on the bottom here that points to either tank or you can drop it in the center here and open up both tanks and it'll automatically change over when one tank is depleted. You gotta make sure you have both valves open on the tank. So we got your tow chains here, your seven way connector, power tongue jack, your safety breakaway cable wrapped in the tow chain there. Here we have your water heater. This is a suburban six gallon water heater. This is gas and electric your anode rod so you have a switch right down here for your electric and there will be switches on the inside of the monitor panel this is your furnace exhaust I recommend a mud dauber screen to prevent insects from crawling inside and making a nest here are your dump valves so you got your black valve on the left which is for your sewage and your gray on the right which is for your sinks and your shower you got your low point drains here, your hot and cold. Your power plug-in for sure power. This is a 50 amp service unit. Here you have a RAM slide out so you can lubricate the RAM right here. And on the opposite side, you always want to lubricate the seals with a rubber seal conditioner. Cable satellite inlet. Here's two more, another cable on top, satellite on the bottom. Here's your city water connection. Here's your potable fill for your fresh water tank and the drain directly below. You got your spare tire rear mounted. This is prep for a backup camera. This has electronic stabilizer jacks. So you got a switch here, another ram slide out here all the same process when it comes to lubricating these i would definitely make sure they are lubed up and the seals are conditioned you want to check your bearings every 10,000 miles or yearly the 110 receptacle on the front here and your front stabilizer jack switch there and this is prep for a portable solar panel to plug in to operate as like a battery tender for your 12 volt system and then here this does have an inverter so the switch to turn that on is mounted right here kicks on you'll hear the inverter fire up you got a light switch in here here's your convenience package your sure power cord Got both your awnings out here these are both power awnings or solera you can pull down on the center here to adjust the pitch or it will automatically dump the rain water when it gets enough on the top there i do not recommend leaving these out in the wind as soon as you walk in the coach here is your monitor panel your battery level fresh water tank black and gray 
your water pump control, water heater on gas. You got some light switches here, slide room control. And here's an awning, another slide room control. And you have some light switches on the back for the hallway and the main ceiling lights. You have your breakers and 12 volt fuse panel here. Everything's labeled conveniently for you, including the amperage size of the fuse. The reason I put this little window in here is so you can see next to the uh, 12 volt side when it blows one of these fuses, it will light up red. You'll see it glowing through the little window there. Here we have a Dometic touch thermostat. You always want to make sure that your fans in auto, you got low, high, auto. You got your AC setting, your furnace, and then back off. If you ever accidentally touch these together, it changes it from Fahrenheit to Celsius. This has a 12 volt Whirlpool refrigerator. You got a freezer control there. And a temperature control there. Suburban stovetop. This does have a spark igniter for the stovetop. You will have to manually light the pilot for the oven. Sufficient lighting all the way around. Oh, and then there's your carbon monoxide and LP gas detector. You've got a standard smoke detector here on the ceiling. And the fire extinguisher is always located by the door. You've got a controller here for your stabilizers and your awning to go in and out. Here's the bathroom area. You got a vent with a fan. A little access panel there to the water system. GFCI receptacle. This has a ducted AC through the ceiling. This has a laundry chute. Cable antenna booster here. So this does drain 12 volt if you leave that on like it was. 110 receptacle on the ceiling there for your TV. Another one on the wall on each side of the bed. You got a shock on the bed that allows you to access your outdoor storage. Almost forgot in this access here when you're underneath the bed this panel here comes off and then that's how you access your water heater for winterizing so just a couple of screws there pull that panel off and you have access to the valves and then you also have access to your inverter or anything else you need to touch up in here i think that about wraps it up if you have any questions feel free to give us a call thanks for watching